I'm not quite sure if we can see Mount Fuji today due to the weather. But let's see. Go, go, go. So, our first stop will be at the matcha shop making. Let's go. So, ito daw yung mga ingredients to make the matcha. Actually, hindi ko masyadong maintindihan, guys. Yung sinasabi niya kasi, it's in Japanese. Although, yung tour guide namin, he's actually doing his best to do translate. Pero, ang hirap talaga maintindihan. So, um, sunod-sunod na lang tayo sa instructions ng mga katabi natin na nakikita. Ayan, so tinuturo na nga niya kung paano yung tamang paghawak ng whisk. So may tamang paghawak pala talaga siya. Ayan, using your three fingers. And then you have to mix the water dun sa matcha. And then may tamang paraan siya ng pag-whisk para mag-show yung bubbles. So ayun daw ang ano, ayun daw ang best way. Pagkakaintindi ko, ayun. At ang best part dito is, iinumin mo pala yung matcha na ginawa mo. So ayun na nga. Napasubo na tayo. After matcha making, we're supposed to head to the fifth station of Mount Fuji. However, ang lakas ng ulan. Sobrang malas talaga and bad timing yung pagpunta namin. So ito, kain na lang ako ng spam for breakfast which is one of my favorites kasi nagutom ako dahil tumakbo kami kanina kasi we were about to miss our trip. So yun nga, dahil sa late na train. After that, we went to Lake Kawaguchiko, which is the base of Mount Fuji. So of course, hindi talaga nagpakita si Mount Fuji kasi nga dahil sa weather, nag-uulan. So, nag ice cream na lang kami to make ourselves feel better. <laughs> oh, hayo! Oh, hayo, kasi mas eh. Masarap, Buns? Buns! Masarap. So look at that. Because it's peach season. They have lots of peach in here. Yeah, so we're in Oishi Park Cafe. It's a lot of people. So umuulan. Ayan. Of course, you wouldn't be able to see Mount Fuji. Say na ulan. And so, dumiretso na kami sa nearby restaurant para kumain. So, itong restaurant na to, ayan, as you can see, you have to remove your shoes before you can enter. Kasi yung restaurant type is like the classic Japan style wherein you need to sit on the floor. So, ayan, very classic siya as you can see. Our tour guide is so mabait kasi pinahiram niya kami ng yen. Usually, we travel without bringing any cash, card lang talaga. But in Japan, you have to bring cash kasi most of the restaurants only accepts cash. Especially if bumiyahe kayo sa mga malalayong lugar. Like this restaurant, they only accept cash. Thankfully, pinahiram kami ng tour guide and we're just gonna withdraw later. Best of your food. Is it good? How can you rate it? 
After we ate, we just passed by here in the river. We're supposed to see a blue clear water with the fishes, however, umuulan, so hindi namin makita. And so we are now here at Gutemba Premium Outlet. I'm so excited, guys. We head directly to the welcome center to check if meron silang power bank kasi almost empty but na aming lahat and we need to rent a power bank. So here they do have a power now station para uh, makapagrent ka ng power bank. This huge outlet is actually divided into three wings. So first stop, Onitsuka Tiger. So, ang dami-dami namin nagahanap ng Onitsuka Tiger, pati mga friends namin. So, kaya let's check out what they have here in the outlet. So, here in the outlet, it's not as pricey at, as it is sa mga retail stores. So, kaya if you're interested to really buy a lot of things in Japan, this is a must-visit place, Gotemba Premium Outlet. Though the styles and items that are here in the outlet is actually not part of the new collection, so it's mga previous collections pa siya. But it's also your chance to get the previous collection if you missed it, and you'll get it in a cheaper price. Like this shoes, look at that. Ang ganda ganda pa niya, ang ganda ng style niya, and I would really buy this. And it only costs like around twelve thousand yen, which is really really good price. So we're now here going to West Zone. We've got the um, the Temba Premium Outlet map in here. So we're gonna go to West Zone so that we can visit Gucci, Givenchy, and Prada Outlet. It's gonna be fun. Let's go to West Zone. We're going to head to my tickets. And then these ones are leather, that's why the leather. Ayan, so most of the luxury shops is nandito na. So this is really a one-stop shop. So you can visit Burberry, Fendi, Gucci, and Prada all in one. And also, meron din dito mga shoe shops like Nike, Adidas, New Balance. So marami ka rin talagang pagpipilian. And ikaw na mismo ang mapapagod. So hindi rin talaga kami masyadong nakalibot dahil una, 
umuulan. Sobrang lakas talaga ng ulan. And second, we have a time that we need to follow. Kasi nga, naka-bus tour kami. So, we decided just to head to the places na meron talaga kaming dapat bilhin. So, we went to Gucci right away. Let's go! Guys, para ako nakawala sa hawla nang pumunta kami sa Gucci. Buti na lang talaga pinitigilan ako ng kapatid ko. Kasi kung hindi, baka magpaiwan ako at hindi ako sumabay sa kanila sa bus tour. Kasi Gucci is really my brand and I really really love to shop. Um, since long time na ako before ako nag-shop. So this is just like my first time in going out of the country and um, na nag-shopping again. So I'm really really happy. As you can see, kahit nasa outlet na tayo, ang gaganda pa rin talaga ng items na nandito sa outlet. It doesn't seem like it's from the previous collections. That's what I love about Gucci. And also, the prices are really good. And I didn't imagine na mas mura pala talaga dito sa Japan. Because usually guys, nagsashop ako sa Europe, which is much cheaper than Dubai. But I was surprised about okay, the pricing so here in Japan. It's really, really good. So that's another tip for everyone. If you wanna shop, you can, you can visit Japan, either Japan or Europe. Because they're almost like one of the most competitive pricing in terms of shopping. Look at the scarves! Oh my gosh! Ang gaganda niya! Ang gaganda niya talaga and also sobrang mura. So they have two prices on the tag. The first price is if you are a Japanese resident and the second price below is actually the less tax-free which is for tourists. So as you can see, these scarves cost like around 32,000 yen up until like 40,000 yen which is really really cheap and it's a good price. And ang ganda-ganda niya. So ayun, parang wala akong nagawa and nakabili ako ng mga three pieces na scarves. <laughs> okay. So we have the silk, we have the blue, and then the gray. Gray. Okay. okay. Ito naman yung mga shoes nila. Ang gaganda din and sobrang simple and also mura siya. So it starts at 25,000 yen. Less tax na yon. So good deal na. This is one of the scarves that I bought. Ang ganda, di ba? Sobrang classy. Ang ganda-ganda niya. So, this came from this collection. So, we got three of it. And I'm excited to use it on my next travel. Ayan, rain or shine, nothing can stop us, guys. I'm so happy. My heart is so happy. Thank you all for coming with me. Feel free to comment down below if you have any question. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys on my next vlog, which is our Japan Day 2. Bye-bye.